Just you, Bethann? Just me. We also are going to be having some online, though, okay. so I'll ask them, yeah. I said we could have this chat. We could have had this we chat in private. Three hours ago. Yeah, <laughs> when you reminded me. Oh my gosh! Thank you. My pleasure. Your, agent Your lifesaver. <laughs> All right, please join in me in welcoming 2016 U.S. Women's Open champion and Texas native Brittany Lang. Brittany has a long history with the championship, earning a runner-up finish as an amateur in 2005. She is making her 16th U.S. Women's Open appearance. Wow. When I say that, what comes to mind? It's crazy. Um, I take pride in it. You know, it's hard. You know, watching Angela win last week, that's pretty special to have staying power like that. I take pride in it, even though I'm not quite to her level, but um, it's really special. Um, what does it mean to have the Women's Open here in your home state? It's awesome. It was so great to drive down. Uh, the course is great. It's in great shape, but um, I've never played a U.S. Open in Texas, so it's cool. Um, your familiarity with the course here, the Burks, talk a little bit about champions. I am not super familiar with this golf course. I have been here. My caddy, however, is. Uh, he grew up playing here a little bit, which is helpful. Um, I was supposed to come down and play it, and my something was bothering me. My arm was bothering me, and I wasn't able to come back, uh, come down. But I saw it today, and it's uh, it's it's pretty straightforward. So, yeah. So, what's been your strategy? What did you play yesterday? Today, are you playing? Did you play 18 yesterday? I didn't play yesterday. I just drove up yesterday. Oh. Yeah, I was, I was tired after Dallas. That was a grind, <laughs> and I was just really tired, and I want to be fresh. And my caddy knows the course, and you know we get, yesterday and today, it's it's plenty for me. Um, but yeah, I loved it. A lot of drivers off the tee, which I think is great. Um, a lot of character. Greens are massive, so a lot of long putts, and they're fast. Um, so a lot of, probably a lot of, ten feet and in putts for par, and you know long lag putts. Question from the Cisco Webex: um, What's the preparation adjustment when it comes to playing two golf courses? Yeah, this is it's tough. The U.S. Open week is normally really tough in itself with one course, but this is difficult, especially coming off Dallas, playing you know six, seven days in a row there. But um, since we were playing Cypress three times, we played 18 there today to get a feel for it, and we were planning on playing more. Um, but I was just a little tired yesterday, and then tomorrow we're going to play Jackrabbit uh, nine holes, and then walk the other nine, just try to get some rest because it's a long week. You know, it just makes it a little more strenuous. Some of the PGA Tour players um, have been showing their support online this week, um, having an off week themselves. What does that do to the women's game to have the male golfers show that sort of public support? Oh, it's fantastic. It's really cool when the guys do that. Um, it just brings people in, gives the girls a little bit more respect, I think, because um, a lot of the time I don't think we get it. But, um, yeah, it's great because, you know, their followers or people in touch with them will start tuning in and, it's great that they have an off week to put the spotlight on us. Between last week or this week, do you feel extra pressure when you're playing here in Texas? A little bit. Um, I try to lower my expectations because you get pretty excited. You have a lot of family, and you want to win. You want to play so well and do well. But I've learned to calm down a little bit and lower my expectations. It's just fun to be in Texas. Did you ever think you'd come to a major and not play every hole before you, <laughs> you teed it up on Thursday? It never would have entered my mind, no. <laughs> but with 2020 going the way it is, anything can happen. So we're just rolling with the punches. Do you think uh, younger Brittany could, could handle that, or is the mat maturity? Uh... I think younger Brittany had a lot more energy. <laughs> so she would have played it multiple, playing. multiple times. But <laughs> older Brittany is a little more tired. <laughs> and therefore not mentally freaking out about it? Correct. And that's okay. <laughs> now that I'm a mother and I'm I'm considered old out here, uh, I'm gonna take a breather. Who's gonna be here this week for with you? Um, Kevin's here. My husband, my mom, my dad, my mother-in-law, my daughter. Yeah, nice little lineup. Yeah, sorry if this has already been asked, but does your preparation change at all whenever you're putting on Bermuda greens as opposed to a course with bent grass? Yeah, I think you hit a lot more long putts because you get so many different putts with into the grain, down grain, and these greens have a lot of subtle breaks. So, yeah, I think way more lag putting, in my opinion, on Bermuda because bent grass, they're pretty much the same, you know, uphill, downhill, they're pretty basic. But these are a little bit trickier. So, yeah, I think a little bit more work on the greens. 
Thanks. The USGA launched a Women Worth Watching campaign to shine a brighter light on women's golf in general. What does it mean to have the governing body do something like that, especially around a week like this? Oh, it's fantastic. I love that. You know, KPMG has also got on board with things like that. And it's so great for junior girls and girls golf and women's golf just to, like I said earlier, just to give them the respect that, that they deserve. Any other questions? All right. Thanks, Brittany. Good luck this week. Thank you.